breaking news with me Aza. This morning, Palu City get earthquake again with forced three stalancha. A month of residents were affected scattered because get trauma and has been connected with us. Zahra, what is the current condition in Palu after after shocks? Bani Aza, Palu must rise, Palu will rise. We can see the situation here. The community in Palu is starting to be active again. And this morning, the society began to activity. In there are about 63,000. Their houses damaged and has not been called be live. The other reason they're still here is because there's been a few aftershock. But they are still survived. And even we called till this morning. There was an earthquake with first three scala return well, this an earthquake with minor anxiety and not tsunami. And beside me, there is already Mr. Arju. Good afternoon, Mr. Arju. Afternoon. Mr. Arju, how was your condition after the earthquake yesterday? I'm still strong because a lot, lot of aftershocks that happen like this morning and Fred, that will be another aftershock. And how about your family, Mr. Until now, my family has not been born. Every day I try to find my, my child and my please pray for my family. But how can you send your house? As you, as you see, my house was destroyed to find the skeleton and I hope <coughs> the government the can can have you support in renovating our house. And so, information that we can convey directly for Palu, back to the studio, Aja. Thank you for the information, Ms. Zahra. Now, we move to review camps where victims are treated. We are already connected with our volunteer, Ms. Charida. Good afternoon, Ms. Charida. How is the condition there? Oh. Some of the victims are currently evacuated in the village, which are used as temporary shelters. How is the condition of the victims then now? Many victims who suffered minor injuries and still need medicines for the victims. They also need clothing, clothing and food for daily until now. Many volunteers have sent aid such as money, clothes, and food. Has the government distributed aid? To date, the government has provided financial aid and other needs, and the victims were helped by support from the government and volunteers. Thank you for the information provided, Ms. Charida. Palu must rise, Palu will rise. Today's weekend news. I'm returning and enjoy the next program. Bye. <tune> Evacuate in the village, which are used as temporary shelters. Shelters! Yeah.